There's another one. <laughs> Retirement movie. Yeah, it's that time of the week, Norm. Long, um, long-term care options has been something people have been asking us about. And once again, it's one of those things that won't happen for maybe some time. So we're just going to do our unique spin on some ideas for long-term care. We are Tina and Norm and we talk all things retirement. We would love you to subscribe and give us that thumbs up. It really helps our channel because it goes to a wider audience. Some people are going to have to go into a long-term care home either for illness uh, to be looked after um, towards end of life or there's a growing number of people that really want to maybe they've lost a partner or they're on their own and they're looking for a social life and some of the long-term care homes are opening up to over 55s mm -hmm. where you can get your meals and uh, all the laundry everything done for you plus you get a social life so we're going to take a look at that in this video so it's kind of funny because lots of different people have an idea of what they think it's going to be like, don't they, Norm, as they get older? They do. But we're actually coming up with some totally different ideas. The, the traditional um, image of an old people's home is where people go, sit in a chair all day, drool, <laughs> oh, and uh, don't really have much quality of life that's changed and it's going to continue to change as the baby boomers retire massive massive amounts of uh, population and some baby boomers will look to go into a type of long-term care home mm -hmm. just so they don't have to do the cooking and all the mundane tasks because i guess all that gets provided for you doesn't it norm it does but we also, um, there is other options too. We have been talking with our group of friends. There is four couples and we have been talking and discussing about what would happen for long-term care as we get older. Mm -hmm. We've been discussing the different options, haven't we? We have and bearing in mind, it can be very expensive. You're looking Absolutely. at yeah. average fees of around 5000 a month. Mm -hmm. So, as I say, some of our enterprising friends got the uh, calculator out and came up with this scenario. So, we would rent an additional apartment for the nurse, which would be approximately 2000 a month. Mm -hmm. We would divide that cost between the four couples, so we would all pay $500 each. Right. So then, of course, we have to give the person a salary. So we thought maybe... 40000 a year? Yeah, 40000 Again, we divide that between the four couples. <laughs> so we would pay $10,000 each for the salary, and we would then pay 6000 each for the apartment. Yeah. So for the two of us per couple, it would only cost us around 16000 a year. And we were actually really quite excited and on board with this, weren't we, Norm? That's right. And it leaves plenty yeah. of money in a budget <laughs> that if we got to the stage where we don't want to do the cooking, yeah. Uh, meal service, just have Absolutely. it have it sent in, yeah. pizza delivery, um, all those uh, meals in a box ideas, uh, they, it, they come into play at that point. Yeah. So lots of options, isn't there? It is, but it's a fraction of the cost of uh, a long-term care home or a senior's mm -hmm. uh, care home. And we still get to all be friends and socialise amongst us and yeah. what's the most important hour of the day team it's got to be happy hour so <laughs> so we always get together for happy hour anyway uh, uh, once or twice a week so, so we, it, it plays into that yeah we thought it was a brilliant solution didn't we so if you don't like that how about this one this came from one of our viewers in the u.s he he was on his own single but grappling with the whole long-term care yeah way too expensive he didn't have the resources and 
He's obviously one of those guys that can think outside of the box, which is absolutely fantastic. And he went and... He went to rent a hotel room, well, we'll say like a mini apartment, so a hotel room with a little kitchenette. Yeah. And he went to rent this at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> And, and got a monthly, uh, a monthly, a monthly rent, didn't rate. He? But not only that, he said he got all the perks. He got free breakfast. Yeah. He got his beds made. Yeah, his, his um, room was cleaned every day. <laughs> and he thought that was good because if anything happened to him, somebody would actually notice, didn't he? So he felt yeah. confident with that and did and found out that the hotels were near to grocery stores. Um, you can get pizzas and other fast food delivered. And he worked out that it would be a fraction of the cost. Now, this is in the US because we are finding out that a lot of the homes are around seven to 8,000 yeah. a month. So this, he said, was a substantial savings. But we loved all the free perks we he did. came up with, didn't he? And, and the other comparison is the fact that in Canada, we're looking at long-term care with meals provided, a, a small room with a little kitchenette, um, as being around 4,000, 4,500 for one that's pretty nice, maybe 3,500 for one a little more basic. But it just shows you the, mm -hmm. the difference. And of course, Norm, that would just be for one person. If there was it two would. of you, that number could easily be like 6,000 a month for two people. But the one kicker yeah. with all this long-term health, especially uh, in Ontario, Canada, where we are, is it's means tested. Mm -hmm. So this is where you start losing your pension because they take that to pay the fees for the home. And we should explain in Ontario, there are government-run uh, seniors' homes, uh, for-profit, um, so you're getting more like a, an, a, an apartment, a hotel stay. And then there is another group who are not-for-profit. So basically you're paying somewhere around three grand to five grand mm -hmm. per person going into here, but you're going to lose your savings. You're going to lose your private pensions because they're it all going to go to pay mm -hmm. for the uh, money that you might not have as cash. So it's pretty interesting all that, isn't it, Norman? It is. So maybe you might want to be entering the Holiday Inn uh, <laughs> frequent fire <laughs> points. Or sort of looking a little bit outside the box because we thought the idea we came up was brilliant, didn't we? And, and, of, and of course, if you do have family, yeah. um, there's always the option of the granny flat in the basement um, or a spare bedroom where you can help your children mm -hmm. buy a house by yeah. contributing rent. That's very true. So there are lots of different options out there to consider, aren't there? There are. So this was one of our takes on long-term care homes mm -hmm. and long-term care options because it may well happen to us one day. So might as well be prepared and have some thoughts on what you would like. So thanks for watching. And we hope everybody is staying safe. Keeping well. Until the next time. Bye-bye.